going to turn to health news round, talking about health when it comes to what you're putting on your bar, not what you're putting on your barbecue, but how you cook it, right, Maria? That's right. That's right, Nick. When we talk about safe grilling at this time of year, most people think about checking the internal temperature of burgers, chicken and roasts. What we don't often consider is how we grill our meats and how much we consume. But both are important factors in reducing our risk of cancer. Summer and barbecues go hand in hand, but too much of a good thing can be trouble, particularly too much barbecued meat. The cooking process creates HCAs, or heterocyclic amines. And it occurs when the amino acids and the creatine work together and the high heat forms on it, so it creates these cancer-causing chemicals. Dietitian Melody Melkowicz says a large consumption of HCAs can boost your risk of developing precancerous polyps by as much as 46 percent. Well, they think that they may affect the gene structure and that they, of course, can increase the risk of cancer. That people who eat a large quantities of meat, and especially grilled meat, they do have an increased risk of cancer. That doesn't mean wheel your barbecue to the curb. HCA development is closely linked to heat intensity, whether on the grill, under the broiler, or in the fry pan. So cut back your cooking temperature. If we use lower temperatures and cook faster and quicker, it tends to decrease the amount of, that they're forming. Smaller portions, thinner burgers, putting meat on skewers will all decrease your cooking time. Choosing leaner cuts of meat will also make a difference in HCAs. They actually say that marinating them, especially from 10 to 30 minutes in an acidic, maybe garlic and lemon and uh, rosemary, seems to really have an effect on flavonoids, which tend to decrease the risk of cancer. Maybe microwaving a meat for two or three minutes prior to putting it on the grill, because then it's decreased time. Boosting your intake of grilled vegetables can also cut your HCA consumption. And of course, the vegetables, not only do they have the barbecue flavor, but then you get the benefits of the fiber, the vitamins, the minerals, and of course, they tend to lower the risk of cancer. So and for the carnivores, a reminder to vary your meat options. Consider chicken, turkey, and pork. Limit your intake of red meat to no more than one pound a week.